Well, let's bring in Jim Farley, COO of Ford. Uh, Jim, lots to talk about, including this deal with Volkswagen that you guys finalized this morning. Let's start first off with a status check. How do things stand in terms of ramping up production, and what are you seeing right now in the market in terms of consumer demand for going back out and buying vehicles? Well, good morning, Phil. Uh, we're seeing great, uh, very strong demand. We have for more than a month now. Uh, actually, some of our model products on retail were up year over year, like F-150, so very strong demand. On production, uh, we're adding second and third shifts now. Our, we'll be by J July 6, we'll be up to full North Tavera production. And by the end of this month, almost all of our plants will be on three shifts or overtime. Jim, you're entering a crucial stretch where you're going to be unveiling the new F-Series. You're going to give us our first look at the new Bronco that you're going to roll out over the next, uh, within the next year. And then you've got the Mustang Mach-E, the all-electric Mustang, coming out later this year. How much did the COVID-19 pandemic set you guys back in terms of your product portfolio? Not much, but I, uh, Phil, you'll see I have my, my Bronco shirt on today. Um, look, the launches are really critical for our North America profitability and for our customers. The Mach-E and, and the Bronco are brand new products. We, we, it will be incremental to us, brand new customers. We're really excited. Uh, the F-150, that is our key launch this year. You know, the team during COVID, the lockdown, made a lot of progress on the software verification, a lot of the technical uh, items for our launch as well as supplier readiness. But until we get in those facilities and start building prototypes, you know, we can't progress the launch. So we don't see any delays to the launch at all outside of, you know, the, the COVID shutdown of the plants. And in fact, uh, during the break, our engineers uh, and supply team made really good progress. So we feel great about our new launches. The F-150, uh, we have Bronco coming, as you said, and we also have a new small utility, off-road utility coming, which we're really excited about. And, of course, the Mach-E with lots of reservations. So, Jim, when does the Ford restructuring take hold? You've heard the critics. I'm sure you've heard them who are sitting there saying Ford's not moving fast enough. This seems to be a perpetual restructuring that's been going on for the last couple of years. When do we see that pay off in terms of restructuring this company in a new direction? Great question. You know, the bottom line is our new lineup comes out later this uh, year in the in the third and fourth quarter. That's the high leverage opportunity we've been waiting for. We've worked for three to four years to get this new lineup to market. We're going to have the freshest product lineup in North America. It's our key market from a profit standpoint. North America is our key opportunity. But we're also working on costs. We have a new COO in North America. Uh, Lisa Drake, she's been working on a warranty and material cost. Between the cost progress and the new vehicles, we have an unprecedented opportunity to really create a lot of shareholder value and also get a lot of new customers to the Ford brand with this brand new product lineup. 